Recently, I found a nice little add-on on the Blender Market, and if I enable it, it gives you a clear indication that you're using Auto Keying. And I'll try to explain why this is useful in a second, but I can imagine that some people are already nodding their heads because this is kind of a big deal for animators. So you can get this add-on on the Blender Market. It is clearly named You Are Auto Keying, and it will cost you this much. And when you buy it, you can go to your orders and download a zip file. And then in Blender, you'll just install it like any other add-on. I have a separate video about installing add-ons, so check it out if you need help with that. And when you install it, it will give you this special key here, which enables auto keying and also enables special coloring of your interface so that you know that you are auto keying. Okay, if I disable it and then enable it from here, I won't have any indication or almost no indication that I'm auto keying. The main indication is here, this little blue dot. And also, if I start moving an object, there is some text saying auto keying on, which you are probably not focusing on. Okay, so if you want to use the special coloring of the add-on, you have to disable this button and use the one provided by the add-on instead. I asked the developer why, uh, why can't we just use this button? Apparently there is some technical limitation in Blender, so we cannot use this button. You have to remember to use this one. And you can also right click and add this to your quick favorites. So you can just press Q and enter uh, auto keying and also disable it. Or you can also assign a shortcut if you prefer. Just right click on the key button and assign shortcut. So this is how the add-on works, but you can also customize which parts of the interface are colored and you can also specify the exact colors that you like. If you go to edit, preferences, add-ons, and let's find the add-on by looking for key. Here it is, your auto keying. If you expand these options here, you'll be able to customize the behavior of the add-on. And you can make it indicate auto keying through object selection, pose bone selection, playhead, header, which is my personal favorite, and also viewport, which affects the edges of the 3D viewport. And viewport high will change the color in the center of the viewport. So let's enable all of these and enable the key button. And the whole viewport became red. This is because of these two viewport options. We have a special red outline around an object. If I create an armature, you'll see that it also has a special object outline. And if I go to pose mode, the bones will have a different outline uh, compared to the normal one. If I disable keying, you'll see that bone colors also change. And finally, we have the playhead, which is colored in red. If you want to make any changes to these settings, make sure that you disable keying first and then change them. And something else that is very important is the fetch colors button. If you're using the default Blender theme, then you don't have to worry about it too much. But if I change my theme to the Maya one, for example, then I should go to the add-on options and press fetch colors. And that will take the default theme colors and use them here as default colors. And the colors on the other side are the ones that will become active when you activate the auto keying option. And you can set them as you like. So I'm going to switch back to my default theme and then go back to the add-on and again fetch colors to make sure that I'm using the default colors. So this setup can take some getting used to, but once you have it set up as you like, you can just forget about it. Personally, I like to disable the viewport options. They're a bit too much for me, but the other ones I like, so I'll keep them enabled. And then I can enable auto keying from here. That's all about this add-on. You'll find a link to it in the description box down below. And the developer of the add-on has even more add-ons that may be useful to animators and riggers. The NLA Strip Manager looks interesting, and there are a couple of add-ons related to vertex groups and shape key management, which I might check out in the near future.